Police investigating a possible subway surfing incident that led to the death of a teenage girl. With another girl seriously injured, let's get right to Good Day's Lizette Nunez. She joins us from Corona, Queens, with more on this tragedy. Good morning, Bri uh, Good morning, Lizette. Good morning, Dan and Tishani. Yeah, we're hearing that these two girls are were believed to be subway surfing. This happened late last night around 11 p.m. According to police, this happened on the 111th Street subway station. They say those two girls fell in between two subway cars last night. One of the girls was pronounced dead on the scene. The other was taken to Elmhurst Hospital with head trauma and is listed in critical condition. Now, this comes from the heels of several other recent incidents believed to be tied to subway surfing. Last week, a 13 year old boy died in Queens and the school's chancellor confirmed that was due to subway surfing. And last month, a child fell off a G train in Brooklyn and also died. Now, NYPD data shows there have been more subway surfing arrests this year compared to last year. And this comes amid increased police enforcement and the MTA's awareness campaign. But what we've been hearing from the MTA as well as other uh, elected officials is they believe a lot of this is due to social media. A lot of young uh, teenagers are posting videos or pictures of them subway surfing and they're posting it on TikTok, Facebook, that going viral. So that is one of those big driving factors that is pushing this. So what we were, we've been hearing from elected officials, they've been urging a lot of these social media companies to immediately take those videos down to discourage teenagers from participating in this extremely dangerous activity. As Leah's here from Corona Queens, Dan and Tashani, back over to you guys. Praying that young girl pulls through. Yeah. Lizette, thank you.